This is the Diamond Select Marvel Gallery Daredevil PVC Diorama Statue. The son of a New York City boxer, young Matt Murdock, lost his sight when he pushed a man out of the path of a truck carrying unidentified chemicals. His other senses were enhanced thousandfold, giving him full awareness of his surroundings and an almost supernatural agility. When his father was killed by the mob, young Matt decided to become a lawyer, prosecuting criminals by day and catching the rest by night as a vigilante patterning his costume. After battling Jack Murdock's devilish fighting robes, Matt became known as Daredevil, the hero of Hell's Kitchen. This 9-inch scale PVC diorama of Daredevil is based on his appearance in Marvel Comics. It was sculpted by Ramirez Studios. The packaging does tout this as nine inches in height, but I'm wondering if they actually gauge that more so from the character. Uh, if you factor in the, that he's crouched, if his legs were completely straight, it would be safe to assume that Daredevil would be nine inches in height. However, of course, because he is standing on top of a display base and you can't remove the figure, we do have to factor that in. So if we take it from the bottom all the way up to one of his Billy Club handles, the statue as a whole is actually 11 inches in height. Just want to include that as part of this review because sometimes I know with packaging, it does list it as one thing and it's something completely different. To be fair to Diamond Select, they said it was a nine inch scale figure, but because you can't remove the figure from the base, it really technically should be included when you look at the overall height of the figure or in this case, the statue. I quite rather like the head sculpt here and overall uh, sculpt of the entire figure here. The head sculpt is really done nicely. It, uh, it's something that some companies seem to struggle with, in all honesty, when it comes to head sculpts. Daredevil seemed to be one of the more difficult ones. Having looked at the Sideshow Collectibles release, for example, the six-scale figure of Daredevil, very old, very aged face. Here, you've got a very youthful Matt Murdock. Paint is well applied in the necessary areas in which it would have to be applied. I could say, perhaps, it would have been nice if the areas were on his eyes could have been panel lined uh, like with a black marker. I probably could have gone that and done that myself, but just to just to accent those so that they stand out uh, of, you know, on top of the actual face so it just doesn't look as, as if it blends in as much. They have to their credit put a little bit there, but I think a little bit more could have been well received here, especially for myself. Uh, the lips are slightly off color than the rest of his fe flesh tone, though you don't really see a whole lot of his flesh tone happening here. Again, the head sculpt looks really good here. Fans of the classic red outfit will be very excited to see this figure in hand, this statue in hand. It's got some really nice personality. The daredevils, the two Ds, are raised from the rest of his torso. And they are also, it seems to be, a slightly different sheen. There's a little bit of a slick coat added to it. A uh, nice backdrop versus the otherwise very matte finish here of the, uh, of the actual body here. Now his gloves as well as his boots and technically to some extent as well, the holster that holds his billy clubs are all a darker, shinier plastic, which works well. So it kind of breaks it up because you're really experiencing a lot of red from head to toe. Any little bit of gradient difference to that would be really well received. So again, like the belt is a little bit of a darker color. It's got that slick sheen to it as well as the straps that hold the billy club uh, holster in place. 
And like I said, again, the boots as well. I don't know if you can see it, but they've even gone as far as to sculpt the under treads of the feet, something that really isn't necessary at all, especially like this foot right here. You would only see this if you flipped it around. And flipping it around, you do see that they've gone ahead and they've sculpted that in, so I appreciate the little small touches. Obviously, the main draw of this particular statue, too, is the very long wire running from one handle of the billy club to the other. This can be good and can also be problematic as well because I don't find that it holds relatively... It doesn't hold well at all, actually, in his fingers. You really have to pinch them. There's no clip. There's no nothing inside that can hold it. Uh, when you do get him out of packaging, he does technically have a clear elastic right around here that you could still make use of, if you don't mind for the fact it's going to be a clear elastic on his wrist, but it would help to keep it in place. In the meantime, what you would have to do is run the wire through the fingers here. I guess really any one of the fingers would work, but I find that the pointer finger um, is actually, it, there's not enough space in there. I find the areas between, well, the two fingers in between here best be suited for feeding the wire through. It's a nice effect, but I have to admit that there's a lot of wire you have to deal with. All of this is pliable, so you can manipulate it any which way that you want. But if you, t if I just take it off here for a second, that's a lot of wire. That's a lot of wire to contend with. I feel it could have easily been maybe two thirds the length. It didn't necessarily be as long as it is. I suppose one thing you could do is wrap it around the figure but being that it's wire, it's not gonna drape naturally like it would with rope. So you may have to then go in and just pinch it into his fingers like that. And then once that's in place, just sort of go in and adjust the wires to your preference. Just get them exactly the way that you want. Um, again, the look is okay. I like it, but I do feel like there's a lot of wiring happening here. Um, I don't think that they've ever had removable parts to any of their statues, but if they had only had the means to take this glove off and replace it with a gripping hand, you could have actually have had him gripping both and then wrapped it around his body. If he's throwing it, it probably wouldn't make much sense that the wires then wrapped around his body. It would basically involve him wrapping it around his body and then throwing the billy club so in, instead, really, it would make more sense if you pinch it, like I said, in the top there, and then just adjust it around here. This gives it a very dynamic look, but again, it's a lot of wire to have to contend with. And in case you are wondering, you could technically run this further out, although the it seems, though, if I drape this as far out as I possibly can get it, you may actually have to rely on the pointer finger for this one. If you have it further out, of course, there's not as much holding it in place, like just the weight and the limpness of the wire will end up having the billy club falling. Again, you can kind of hold it and it holds it relatively well. But again, then you have to contend with all the because you wouldn't want to have it just necessarily like this. This doesn't look like it's very artsy, very creative at all. Of course, you would want to go in and just kind of adjust it, bend the wires get that desired look that you want but I do feel though nicely per nicely thought out by Diamond Select but I don't feel like again it needed this much wire to get the job done one workaround you could get away with too is taking the wire wrapping it around his arm because that makes more sense if he's going to be throwing it that the additional rope could have wrapped its way around his arm in the process this helps to shorten the wire just a little bit but again mileage may vary you may find yourself still experiencing a lot more excess wire than is necessary still they wish there was a way around it maybe at the very least they could have had two versions of the clubs two versions of the hands for example so that you could have done a little bit more with it and not have so much wire as a result of it Another solution to the problem of having excess wire is you can wrap it around his arm and then any of the excess wire that goes out further from his hand as he's throwing his billy club, you can sort of loop it. It's not always successful, mind you, but you can loop it into circles so that it gives it the sense that there's some force behind the throw of the club. 
I love this statue. I love its base. I love the fact that you can mount it to the wall. What I don't really love, though, is the amount of wire that we got with it. Now, granted, you could do a little bit of customization for this as well. You could probably remove the wire in its entirety, shorten it a little bit, and then reattach it. I probably would shorten it, maybe maybe have it only by about two-thirds the length of what it currently is now. I like what the look that they were going with, but ultimately, it just doesn't seem to work when you physically have it in hand. There's just a whole lot of excess material that you have to contend with, and a lot of times you just can't get that natural look that you were going with. And I think a lot of that has something to do with for the fact that there's just so much wire that you have to contend with. Other than that, I love this statue, and a big fan of Daredevil myself, I think this is a great contender for one of the best looking Daredevil statues you can get. And it's just a shame though that it's got so much wire that you have to deal with. Today though we were having a look at the Diamond Select, this was the Marvel Gallery Daredevil PVC Diorama Statue. If you guys haven't had a chance to subscribe to this channel, make sure you hit that little link that's down below, it's just below this video, it's a little box that says subscribe. Also head over to my main page, go to the section that says videos and see if there's anything that you may have missed along the way. There's always new content coming to this channel, and there's a good chance you may have missed somewhere along the way. You might have missed, missed a video or so. So feel free to check out the video section, and many more videos will be coming your way. As always, guys, thanks for watching. See you next time.